Hey guys, so we're back with episode 4 of Taco Imposters. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what much to talk about. I read, I was looking at the last time I did this, and it was a long time ago, months ago, so I was like, oh, I gotta do another one of these, so. Yeah, I mean. I look at people who have done, the, like, podcasts already, and I'm like, you've gotten, what is it, like, like, you're at hundreds already, and I'm like, wow. I mean, those people have also been doing it for years, so. Like, two, two, three years already, so I'm like, okay, yeah, okay. I get it, like, but, I mean, still, it's like, whatever, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, still, it's like, I want to get to that point eventually, just, but, you know, you know, putting that aside, you know, the whole, I'll get to that point one day, but, I was looking at, um, the, the I was, like, I found a video of a guy, and he was, he was, like, he was doing, like, thoughts on, uh, Mario Kart app, and I'm like, Mario Kart app, what is this? But it's like, it'll be the first actual app other than, like, Mario Run. Because it looks more like a game than Mario Run. But I'm not saying it's a good thing. It just looks better. I don't know. I'm not sure much about it. Because I looked at it, and the guy was looking at it, and he was saying stuff like, what do you think it's going to be? How is it going to run? How is it going to play? It looks like a really, very, like a, very, like a simplistic, like, you take Mario Kart 8, because it looks a lot like Mario Kart 8. And it's very simplistic, and then take it and make it look simplistic with, like, take all the good things out of it and just make it really simplistic, and there you go. Because that's, that's the key word, simpl- simplistic. Simplistic, 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 simplistic. It's like, it's really simplistic. So I'm, like, looking at it, I'm like, uh, why? But I'm like, I don't really care, I'm probably not going to get it. Because either it's going to be, because he was saying, how is it going to run? Is it going to be, like, Mario, uh, Mario Run, where it's like... You know, you, you get, like, a little bit of content, but the rest of it's pay for. Is it going to be just, like, here, it's $10 or $5, whatever it is, and that's that? Or is it going to be more of something like you have, like, maybe one circuit or one track or a few tracks, and then it's like, okay, everything else you have to pay for, you know? five. He's like, five, ten dollars $10. I'm like, yeah, that one. and he's like, I hope it's that one because that one makes a lot more sense than any of the, like, other options, which which would be the Mario Run option. He's like, don't go with the Mario Run option. That's just stupid. And I'm like, yeah, I know. That's very stupid. I was like, yeah, but I don't really care anyway. Like, I, I, I would download it, play for five minutes, and be like, eh, now what? Because he's also saying all the other... He didn't play much of the other Nintendo apps, and I'm like, yeah, neither did I, to be honest. And he's like, but... He, he played Mario Kart, Mario Run for like a... I think he said he played Mario Run. I don't remember. Maybe he said he didn't. I don't know. But he was like, I don't like how Mario Run runs. Because he didn't give enough free to play. Because he was, he, was, he was comparing it to um, Fortnite. And how Fortnite is very... It is the perfect game to play. Perfect, like, balance of free to play. Very, very free to play. But also very money making because it's like oh yeah well now you if you're invested a lot then you're gonna you know get it you're like you're very nice you're good you're into it you're like whatever i'm gonna get it like that's it but if you don't care you're just gonna keep playing as stando rando stando you know rando stando guy standard guy you know he's like you know it's gonna run very well it's gonna be a good thing it's gonna set up very nicely which i was like yeah he's like you might hate it, but that's the. You might hate it, but that's what the comparison is. Everything is compared to um, Fortnite now because that's how it runs. Fortnite just runs perfectly like that. You know, it's got the perfect thing. You know, it's like, oh yeah, I guess it works. I don't know. I don't really care, to be honest with this thing. It looks kind of okay. I don't know. It just kind of looks dumb to me. Not dumb in the terms of like, oh, this is gonna be stupid, but dumb and like, I don't care. It looks meh. It looks like meh to me. It's very meh. I don't really care. Not that it's not going to, you know, make money or do well or whatever. It's going to be great. It's just I don't care very much for it. So that's my thoughts on that. You know, and then, you know, people talk about things like Switch number two. Like this, like, because the Switch has been out for a year now. The Nintendo Switch has been out for a year. No, it's been out for almost more than a year now. And I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying it's kind of meh to me because... I want one. I really want one. It's just... Well, because people are talking about the second one, and that's not bad to me. I just... It's kind of mess. Like, what do you want? Like, what do you want to see? Do you want to see a 1080p version? Do you want to see a smaller version? Do you want to see an all-in-one? Do you want to see a just TV? Do you want to see a just handheld? Like, what do you want? What do you want, really? Like... And I'm just like... 
I don't care. Like, they're going to come out with some sort of, like, revamped model, and nobody's going to really care, because it's going to be like, eh. Because it's not going to be different, different enough to the first model. I feel like it's going to be like the Wii. Where it's like, all they did to the second model of Wii was they got rid of the uh, GameCube compat support, and that's it. And then they had the third model, which was the um, Wii... Oh, I don't know what it was called. The Wii Mini, Wii Cloud, I don't know. Anyway, it just it became a top-loading, lo um, small... It was like a tiny little red box. It was like a black and red box, and what it basically was was just for uh, making... It was for, like... They had no internet, one instead of two um, USB ports, and no GameCube. And I was like, why, though? I mean, I guess it's kind of look at it like everything. Everything has a second model, though. Every single thing. Well, actually, no. Because I don't think the uh, game uh, GameCube or N64 really had other models. I don't know. I compare it to something like the... Uh, um, like the PSP in terms of... Because the PSP, the PlayStation Portable, had a second model. but this Or had... Actually, no. Second... I guess... Second hardware model. Like, different model. It was the PSP Go. And the PSP Go is like them trying to be like, Hey, you don't care for UMDs. You're one of those people who wants just games. And you'll buy them all and you'll be good. That's the best the market they were going for. So for this, I feel like it's going to be like... Oh, I feel like they could do that. I feel like they could get rid of the game slot and just be like, yeah, you're going to buy everything online. You're going to buy everything online. Like, people are going to be like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I'll be like, yeah. It's each, and then and, and, and it's going to be like, and then the next, like, the next system they make, if they make another system, because they're also speculating that they're done with systems and it's just going to be hardware. But anyway, that's a different story. But if they're going to look at the next system and they're going to look at it and they're going to go, now, do we make a cartridge slot, or do we just literally go fully downloadable? Like, I don't know. I don't know much about Nintendo and their ideas with this. Because, I don't know, I don't think it's going to be great, but I don't think it's going to be awful. I'm just, I'm just thinking it's going to be something that's going to be like, oh, come on. Eh, I don't need this. Like, they could make a cheaper version. Then I'd buy. Because it's, it's sitting around... Three seventy five to four hundred dollars right now, and I'm Canadian, and I'm like, oh, this is so stupid. It's dumb because I really hope it's not going to end up like the Wii U because the Wii U had one. I think it had a one price drop, and it was something like twenty or forty dollars, and then that was it forever. It never dropped ever. It's still sitting at like two hundred bucks, two hundred and fifty bucks. It's like, why? What the heck? Can you not make it better? And it's like, nope, I guess not. <laughs> like, what the heck? I mean, forget it. I don't know. I same thing. I'm looking at them cheap, and I'm like, I don't. Cause like you look it up on eBay, and I'm like, why are they so expensive? Because everyone thinks they're so, so like wanted, like so sought after. Like, no, nobody cares. Nobody wants to pay more than a hundred dollars for one. <laughs> Cause looking for one, and I was like, eh, you know, whatever. I don't know. I don't care. So. So yeah, so like they could make a really cheap switch that's basically just like, like integrate the controllers into the system and don't put it on the TV and make it like worse, not worse quality, but just like less, make it more like looking like a 3DS basically. And then just, there you go. You have, uh, well, you have a cheaper switch and then you sell it for like half, you sell it for like 200 or a hundred and like. 70 80 dollars and you know you'd have a lot of people buying it you know That'd be a good idea. i don't know but i think i don't know i think it's i always have to have some sort of revision of something it's like the 3ds they had the first 3ds which was was such a freaking gimmick it was not even funny but they had the first 3ds and then they had the second like the 2ds which was like the poor man's 3DS, which my friend has, and I actually don't hate it, but I mean, I understand why he bought it. He bought it because he didn't want to spend, ooh, at the time it would have been like $160 on one. He paid like 80 for his 2DS, and I'm like, okay. And then they came out with the XL, and I was like, uh, do I want an XL? 
I played my friend's, um, DSi XL, and I was like, uh, I don't know, do I really, really care for this? Is this really gonna be a big thing? I don't know. I don't care, really. Let's be honest here, I don't really care. Not that it's gonna be great or awful. It's just gonna be... I don't know. So I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, it's, it's meh. So. And then, I played, um... I thought, okay, I thought that the DSi was the stupidest thing because I was like, why would you want a camera? I mean, I understood that people want a camera, but I was like, why would I want a camera? This is so stupid. This is dumb. And in retrospect, it was dumb. It was dumb, but I don't know. The whole gimmick of the 3DS was, our 3DS with the DSi was a camera and a, uh, and the internet, like the online, like the store of it. I was like, eh, whatever. So they came out with like, that one. So they had the, the so they had the that one. Then the, then the next 3ds was the 3ds, a new 3ds, and that's a dumb name for one. But I mean, I'm not even gonna go there because it, you know, I'm not even gonna go there because I just think it's so stupid of a name. They confused everybody, but hey. And then they came out with the 3d new 3ds XL. Well, new 3ds, new 3ds XL came kind of came out in the same around the same time, and then they had came out with the 2ds XL, and I was like. Why? Or new 2DS XL. So. New 2DS? New 2DS? I don't know what's the name. Anyway. And the new 2DS was basically everyone's like... It was basically Nintendo's answer to everyone going, Look, 3 ds stupid, but the game system isn't that bad. So just give me what I want, which is a... Which is a game system without 3D. I totally have disabled my 3D because I'm like, this is stupid. It doesn't work. This is dumb. I don't care. This is stupid. And in retrospect, it is stupid, because nobody played it. They played it for, like, five minutes. They played it for five minutes, and then we're like, okay, whatever, I, I'm done. I don't care. I really, really don't care. I'm like, I, you know? So, to me, I thought the 3D was kind of a stupid gimmick. And also, it, it gave most people a headache, so. Most people are like, this is stupid. It was really impressive for the first, like, five minutes, or, like, maybe, okay, maybe, like, the first hour of using one. You're like, wow, this is actually impressive. And then you get that, like, okay, now I'm done. This is stupid. I don't need this ever again. Like, and then they, like, try different things. I was thinking today, and I was thinking, like, they try different things, right? And I was thinking, yeah, today I was thinking, it was like, you compare that to a 3D movie. And you look at, like, n I would always take off my 3D glasses, and I'd look at the movie, and I'd go, I don't need my 3D glasses for, n like, 80 to 90 percent of this movie or 70 to 80 percent of this movie and i take them off and i'd be like this is stupid and then i'd have those little parts where you'd be like oh this looks stupid and then like five seconds later or maybe maybe 30 seconds like maybe a minute later i'd be like okay yeah, now it's back to being not 3d like it was like i compare the 3ds to that like where like 99 percent of the game you don't need it but some parts of the game just look cool in it it's just th there's no point i don't need this i really don't need this like you know i mean I don't, don't, don't get me wrong. It did impress me when I first used it. I was like, wow, this is cool. But I also was just like, okay, I'm done now. Like, I was just, that's it, I'm done now. And like, because that's the thing, right? I didn't, I was like one of those people who just didn't care. I just didn't care. I was like, it gave me headaches. I didn't care. I thought it was stupid. Whatever. I was like, whatever. So I, I don't hate it. I just don't think it's that great, you know? Give, like, you give me a 3... You give me the option. You want a 3DS, you want a DS. I, I'll pull a DS any day of the week. Just because I'm, like... I just, like... I'm way more fond of that game, and I have nostalgia... Or that system, and I have nostalgia for it, and it's just so much better. So, I just think so. So, I'm not saying it's gonna be... Like, I'm not saying it's a bad system. I'm just saying that in, like, 30 years, when I'm 30 or 40 years old... 20, 30 years, when I'm 30 or 40 years old, I'll be like, yeah, no, I want a DS, not a 3DS. Well, I want to play DS games, not 3DS games, because they're were very lackluster in 3DS games. There, were, there weren't very many great ones. All the great games that I remember are either Pokemon, Zelda, and remakes. <laughs> That's what I remember. So, so, like, Pokemon Sun and Moon, the first one. Zelda, Link Between Worlds. And then the remakes, Star Fox, 64, 
Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Like, I, I don't remember any other games on, on 3DS because I didn't buy any other games. Look, I'll look at my 3DS games right now. Look, I'm looking at my 3DS games right now. And, and it's, it's Star Fox 64, Link Between Worlds, Pokemon Sun, Pokemon X. Oh, yeah, Pokemon X, right. Uh, Super Smash Bros. 4, right? And then I have some stupid game, Dual Pen Sports crap I bought at a library once because I was like, oh, I was like, I want it just because in X amount of years I'll be like, I can't find that one game. <laughs> you know, whatever. But then I look at my DS games and I go, Zelda, Phantom Hourglass, Pokemon Diamond, Lego Indiana Jones, Zoo Tycoon 1 and 2, Star Wars Original Trilogy, and Star Wars Complete Saga, Lego Star Wars, sorry, Complete Saga. Um, Super Mario 64. I can tell you, like, hundreds more games. Than, like, I can tell you dozens and dozens and dozens more games on DS and 3DS. I'm not saying it's a bad system. It's just, it, it, it never appealed to me. It never appealed, like, much of that to me. It's kind of like, meh. Oh, oh, oh. Sun, Pokemon, Sun and Moon. Hated that game. I hated that game because of one thing. They handheld you the whole game. You, you could be in a session, and you could have been playing for, like, four hours, and they'll still pull out something stupid like, Hey, this is how you use a potion. You do know that you can use a potion on a Pokemon? It's like, no shit, really? I haven't been playing my whole life. I haven't been playing this game for four hours right now. Right? Or, like, they'll pull out, like, how to use a Pokeball, and you'll be like... <sighs> or some stupid guy will come along and be like, You know, this is a good tip, and it'll be, like, a stupid tip, like, how to use, like, some item, or, like, how to... Like, try these attacks. You know, try this move on this guy. It's like, um, dude, really? It's a... I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for X amount... How long, you know? It's like, jeez, Louis, seriously. Even if I... This is the first Pokemon game I played. I've been playing this Pokemon game for X or whatever. Four hours, three hours, two hours, an hour, whatever. Like, enough time to realize how to play this game. Like, jeez, Louise, seriously. But... Yeah, I'm not saying it's the worst bad game. Oh, the other thing I hated was they got rid of um, gyms. I thought that was the stupidest thing. Like, no. Anyway, I mean, it's not that bad. That part's not that bad. It's just hand-holding you all the time. It's just, oh my god, I hated it. And my friend, he told me that, that Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are literally the exact same story. Just with, like, a few of new Pokemon. Like, like a few. Like, the 12 or something. Like He's like, yeah, you know how in, like... There's, like, Fire Red and then Leaf Green, and in the two games, there's, like, 11 Pokemon that are different. There's about the same amount, maybe, maybe, like, 20 or 30 that are just new. I'm like, what? Why? I don't know. I don't really care. But, yeah. That, okay, those were that one. It was Sun and Moon that I did not like at all. I never finished it. I couldn't finish it. I was like, I don't like this at all. And it was Black and White and Black and White 2. I didn't play Black and White 2 because I thought it was stupid, and I never cared for stories, so it wasn't, like, a thing I wanted to, like, watch, you know, or, sorry, play. But I did play black and white, and I hated that. I didn't like it at all. Like, you know what? Because I used to say um, that Pokemon um, Diamond and Pearl are the games. Like, no, they've never played them, but they're stupid. They're black sheep, and they suck, and they're terrible. No, I'm getting into the point where, like, black and white are the, like, weirdo black sheep of the, the game, like, the Pokemon franchise. Because, like, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, they're so... They're just so weird. They're just such weird games. that I'm like, but why? What the heck? Why? Why? Jeez, Louis. I'm like, I, I did not like them at all. There's so many little things that I like. I, I liked them when I first played them. But then I got to a point where I was like, this is stupid. It's just dumb. I just don't like any of this. I'm never... That's the thing. I have nostalgia for Diamond and Pearl. So I'll play Diamond and Pearl just for like the S's and G's, right? For the for the, the, the lols, for the funs, right? But I'm never, ever, ever going to play black and white just because I'm like, I don't care. This is a waste of my life. But that's the thing. I just don't, don't care for that game. Yeah, I just don't care for those games. I just, I just don't. But, you know, getting back to the 3DS, though, I really liked Pokemon X and Y. I thought that they really implemented everything really well on that system. Like, they did the, 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 they did, the game was great, the story was great, 
The Pokemon are good. I also like the uh, online features. It's really a good um, game. It really does it well. And then Sun and Moon just had that crap bring Pokemon out of that crap shooters. I'm like, really? Really? You had to make it... Uh, you just turned off so many people. You turned off all the diehard people who are like, oh my god, this is great. It's really good if it's the first Pokemon game you're ever playing and you want to you want to get into Pokemon and you're just like and you're like or you want to tell your son or you want to tell your like little brother or you want to tell your little cousin or your little nephew or something and you're like oh yeah you know and they're like between the ages of like two three and like ten anywhere in there it's like yeah it's great to start off but no no don't it's one of the games I'm I'm not ever going to touch that game ever again I don't care I'm probably never going to beat it either I'm just so fed up with it uh, yeah. Oh, and then if you go into, like, the, um, Lego games, I only had a few Lego games. Like, one, two, three, three, I think I only had three. But, Lego games are really, well, the early Lego games are really good, because they, they did, like, well, not the first Lego Star Wars. Well, the first Lego Star Wars is actually really good. The second Lego Star Wars I have here, like, the, the, the original trilogy, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, it's one of the worst Lego games I've ever played because, oh yeah, Lego Batman. Oh, anyway, it's one of the worst because it's so slow. Because like you get to that point, you're like, why is this so damn slow? But then you play the second, like the, the the complete saga, and I'm like, oh, this is so much better. This is, you know, and then you get to things like Lego Batman. Lego Batman is slow, but it's not that bad. It's like playable. You know what I mean? It's it's very playable. Lego Star Wars, the first, or Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, is slow as molasses. It's so, I, I want to kill myself playing that game. It's so bad. It's like, oh my god. But, you know, and then you have all, like, the, the random Lego games, like, the, you know, Lego like, superheroes and stuff like that. And I'm like, like, Marvel, Lego Marvel stuff. I'm like, eh, I don't care for this. And then you get things like Lego, um... Harry Potter, which I never really played, and Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, and then Lego Lord of the Rings, and like, it's like, so many Lego games, oh, Lego, and then there was something, Lego Battles, oh my god, there were so many really, really bizarre, not bizarre, but like, really like, who's gonna play, who's gonna remember Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, tell me right now, who's gonna remember Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, I don't think anybody's gonna remember that game, I don't think anybody, but, hey, then you know, I don't really care, you know, if you were that one kid who played it, sure, good for you. I don't care. I mean, whoop de doo la dee da loop de doo dee da 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 Then I go into things like, I look into all my other games. I'm like, Brain Age came with my DS. Eh, didn't care for it much. My mom loved it for, excuse me, Sudoku. She played it, like, all the time. She's like, can I play the Sudoku? And she, I'm like, if you have half, you knock yourself out. And she loved it, so, anyway. But then you get to, like, things like, oh, Mario? Super Mario, Super Mario 64 DS is a really weird game because I don't I don't love it. I never loved the original. So I'm not one of those people who was like oh, I could bring this game around. Oh no, whoa, this is good. No, but I do because the, the characters were bizarre. Like you'd play as other characters and you'd be like mm, I just want to play Mario. Like the thing that was bizarre to me was why am I playing this started off with Yoshi? Why? Just, just tell me why. Why am I doing that? And to me, it was like, why? 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 No, why is he standing up like he's a character like like Mario and Lu you know can talk to him? There's why. Just stop. This is stupid. But then I got Mario, and I never really played anybody else, really. I kind of just did Mario. Well, I'd use everybody else when they needed to for, like, those stupid, like, abilities. But I didn't actually want to play with anybody else. And I was like, just, okay, I'm good. I liked Luigi, because he had a, a nice jump, like a spin, uh, it was like a floaty spin jump, so, you, so, if you back, if you triple jumped or backflipped, you had, the, you had like a, he would turn into like a helicopter looking thing, and like, kind of like, float him all the way down, and I mean, it was okay, but, I, I, I don't know, I didn't like using anybody else, really. I mean, I beat that game, I just beat it with a minimum stars, I was like, no thanks, this is BS baloney, you know? And then I get games like, then you have a few games that were on PC that they ported to DS and are 
real crap. Like, they had uh, Age of Empires, and I played all three Age of Empires, or two or three, I think it's like two or three Age of Empires, and oh my god, they're bad. <laughs> they're just bad. They're just, because if you go into it, though, with the mindset of this will be a completely different game from the from the video game, or from the computer, from the PC game, then yeah, okay, sure. But if you're expecting this to be the PC game, forget it. This is bullshit. No. BS. Bullshit. BS. No. You're never going to get it. No. No. Like, the other one that I have are Zoo Tycoon and Zoo Tycoon 2. And I was... Oh! I was... I was there, and I was like, this is not like the original. I'm like... Because I had Zoo Tycoon 2. Because I bought that a long time ago. I went to a Walmart. I don't know where I was. I was like, I'm allowed to get one game. And I was like, oh, ooh, which one do I want? And I bought Zoo Tycoon 2 because I was like, this is great. And I just loved it. I think it, I loved it. But then I, got, I was like... Because the one I wanted the one feature from the PC game because my friend had it on PC and I used to play it and the one wanted the one feature from the PC game and I was like, okay maybe it's not in the second one maybe it's only in the first one so because it was in the first one on PC so I was like okay, you gave it the benefit of the doubt, do the first one and that's it so I so I eventually bought the first one years later at a second hand shop at, at a at a at a game store right I bought it and I'm like the feature's not in the first one either what the heck it was letting your animals out of their pen or putting two animals in the same pen i was like oh come on really because i love doing that i would put like i don't know a tiger or something like that and with something like a moose or a bear or a i don't know something that you know they'd eat each other dolphin penguin, whatever and eat each other it'd be great <laughs> i used to love that i was like i didn't play much of that game but i loved that oh and then you have all this like all oh, the tycoon and the like the park I never played much of Roller Coaster Tycoon. My, co my cousin had it, but I never played much of it. I played something called Thrillville Off the Rails because it was a th it was basically it was basically a 3D version of um Roller Coaster Tycoon also but with like an avatar where you could like play like you could walk around your park and and ride your rides, and it was like all 3D. Oh my god, it was such a good game. I love that game. I loved it. I borrowed it from a library. That's where I got it from. Back when like libraries had PC games. I love how libraries are always like with all their media. They're like, hey, we're not responsible for anything happening, and it's not our fault if nothing works. And we, you know, we basically they're saying we know nothing of any of this. We just bought a bunch of crap from I don't know where some some like liquidation somewhere. You know, bat, you know, when some computer shop's going out of business or some, I don't know, store is going out of business or whatever. Or it's having a giant sale or whatever it might be. And it's like, oh, yeah. So, like, they're like, hey, we're not, we, we don't know what we're doing with any of this. You have to figure this out yourself. It's like, <laughs> so when like, a PC game didn't work, you didn't go back to your library and go, it didn't work. What the heck? You're stupid. No, you just be like, ah. Uh, uh, they say kind of like give you this attitude like dude we know nothing so figure it out yourself oh, I remember that it was great well I remember first I would borrow stuff from like my local well cause my local library sucked my local library sucks really bad it's not good to this day it's not good cause they don't know what they're doing with anything cause it's supposed to be a multicultural library right but I live in Laval so I live in Laval Quebec Canada it is one of the most French places in all of one of the most French places in all of the, the 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 province. One of the most French, and so it's like like the library, like the whole city is catered to French. Like it's like ninety five percent French. It's stupid. So the library is called the multicultural library. So you think, oh, it's going to be great because it's going to be multicultural. It's going to have English, French. It's going to be diverse. It's going to be great. No, it's like ninety percent French. And then, like, every English thing you look for is, like, it's like a movie that's already only in English. Or a game, like, a video game is already in English. And then your books kind of just suck. And you're like, why? Because, like, my library's stupid that way, though. But I used to go to the Point Claire library because my library sucked. Just balls. It sucked ass. It sucked butt. But, you know? And I would be like, Ugh. But I had to pay for that one because I didn't live there. So that's why I went back to the multicultural library because that one's free for me. So, But that one actually had everything because West Island, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some I'm gonna tell you something in West Island, that's where you go for English stuff. Like Laval, forget it. No thanks. But the but the West Island, yeah, it's pretty good for uh for English stuff, so it had basically good stuff there. It had a lot of good stuff there. So you books, you bought good stuff there. I mean, yeah. So the Laval Library was kind of meh. So but but the one thing I could get for the longest time was computer games. I was a kid who would pick Okay, I was a kid with media, media, whether it was movies or TV shows or or um video games, where I would just like pick 30 of them, maybe not 30, maybe like 20, maybe 15 of them, and then just loop those forever, like loop, rotate those things forever, you know? Like, I was a kid, because I also, like, with, with the stuff I actually owned, like the, the movies I owned, I had maybe, okay, I had maybe 100 VHS tapes, maybe, maybe 150. Maybe 200. Maybe. And then I would just loop like 10 to 30 of them. Just in a loop. And I would just watch those over and over and over and over and over again. Just because that was like what I did. I just, all the time. I just did that forever. So that's what I did with like computer games at that library. My, lo my local library. I just looped the same like 5, 10 video games forever. I just looped them forever and ever and ever. It was things like Cyber Grannies where like you visited... It was like you visited a granny and every letter and it would be sort of be like A and it would have something to do with, I don't know, apples, let's say. And then B would be like a beekeeper and then C would be like, uh, I don't know, cake baker or whatever it was, you know? So I would be like, oh yeah, it would be great. And then things like, uh, like a lot of educational stuff, a lot of like bizarre early, early 90s, like... Or early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s, like, educational games where it's like, what is this? Because that's the thing. The first thing I remember playing, I distinctly remember playing, the first stuff I remember playing were, were CD-ROM based games. And they were, like, the creme de la creme of, like, some of the best stuff I've ever played, ever. Just because, like, they're so, and the most nostalgic stuff to me. They're, like, so good. They're just so good. And then there's things like, and, they all, and then the first ever video game system I ever remember playing, ever, 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 was, um, I was at my dentist's office, and it was a Sega Genesis, and it was, um, Sonic 2. Sonic and Tails? So I remember playing with Tails all the time. Also thinking he was, like, a nut job, like, why, why is this guy, you know, cuffed to me? I hate this. You know, but I remember that distinctly, because it was the only game they had in there. And then that was all I played. I remember that. It was great. It was such a good thing. It was so good. Anyway. And then I remember... Yeah. So that was the first stuff. So that's why computer games were always like something I wanted. So funny. And surprisingly, almost everything ran like fine on my system. It was weird. Nothing was like, oh, it's too old or too new or too this or too... No. It, there was no like weird like, oh, yes. <laughs> no. It was like actually running. Nowadays, I try to do that. Forget it. You wouldn't. You'd get like one out of like all the games to play to run correctly, you know. So, so like, I would download, give, uh, borrow a lot of computer games. Like I'm trying to remember all the computer games I used to borrow. Like I remember one was Arthur, and it would just give me. Basically, it was just a piece of cardboard with the PBS website URL on it. I remember that, and it would be like, what? Facepalm, what? Why? What the heck? Why? This is stupid. This is really stupid. But, yeah. So, I'm very fond of computer games. Like, I had a lot of weird computer games as a kid, too. Like, I had, like, I had, like, these random, like, and I had all the, like, educational games. I had, like, no, but, like, the educational games that were, like, just, like, a, like, math problem, you know, laid out for you, you just had to do it, and you were done, you know, it was basically just paper put into a, like, like, school on paper put into a video game, put into, no, put into, like, a computer, which, I mean, I don't know, it wasn't that bad, but then I had educational games, like, I had, I had entered edutainment games, which were, oh, so, some of them were so good, like, I had stuff like, uh, um, Jumpstart third grade, uh, first grade, actually, maybe, I don't know, I think it was Jumpstart first grade, anyway, and it was, like, Oh, so good. Like, it was very, like, that one was very not good. But then I had things like, uh, uh, 
what was it called? School Zone? I think it was called like School Zone Math or something. But the thing with that was it tried to get you if you're like, hey, every five or every six or seven or ten problems you do, you can play a game. But the, stup- the dumb thing was my mom didn't let me actually do that. She was like, well, no, because at the end of the game, if you beat the game, if you beat all the, the problems, you were able to play the games unlimited, right? And some of them were great. So I would play some of them and I'd be like, oh, this is amazing. And my mom would be like, no, 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 you have to beat the thing first. Or you have to do them all first. I'm like, why, mom, why? The whole point of this is to give you, like, a recess. But, I mean, she was like, ugh. So I was like, forget it. You know what? I'll just do it. And I used to do it and I used to play them all the time. And then I used to play all of them all the time. And then I had things, like, that were, like, kind of educational. Like, like the Arthur stuff where it was, like, kind of educational but not really but kind of but not really not the not the abcu one two three educational the more like learn a lesson type of thing you know i mean i had a latin math that was great that was that was that was great that was that was that was great i love that i'm trying to find how to play that again and i can't because i don't know how to make isos because i'm going to download the iso i have the iso open somewhere Right, and I don't know how the hell to heck to make ISOs. I gotta ask the guy, my friend, who made ISOs of a lot of games. But anyway, cause that's the thing too. The stupid thing was some of the games you you would download to to um hard drive, and some of them you needed the disc. And I'd be like, what the heck? I mean, I just assumed that you needed the disc for everything, so I just you know popped the disc in every time I wanted to play something. But then I pulled up my computer recently, and I was like, oh my gosh, really? You can play some of these games without the disc. Nice. Nice. I mean, I'm sure if, if you did it right, though, you could pretty much make any of the games, you know, download to, or a lot of the games download to um, hard drive. But, I mean, what are you going to do? I don't know. Anyway, so I was like a computer game guy. Like, that was my thing, a, a jam as a kid, computer games. Like, PC, like, with CD-ROMs. Oh, my God, they're so good. So good. But also, they were um, also, uh, yeah. Yeah, they also had games like um, uh, Tonka Construction, where it was like, this isn't really educational, but it's it's more of like, like I said, it's not a ABC 1, 2, 3, it's more of a learn a lesson or learn a thing about this. Like, oh, here's like a vague thing about construction that's vaguely learning something. I don't know. Like the Arthur stuff, where like, because I watched a video once, it was uh, Watch Mojo's, it was Watch Mojo's uh, top, whoopsie, top 10, uh, educational tv shows right and you had you had all your you know uh, schoolhouse rock and like your whatever your abc one two three you know that stuff but then they pulled out a few that were like arthur and i'm like arthur educational but they're they're um what's the word i'm looking for they're um oh my gosh their defense to it was no 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 no, not an abc one two three educational a learn a lesson educational i'll be like oh that makes a lot of sense that makes a lot of sense i was like oh that's what you mean makes sense so i was like okay that makes some sense so like that's what i mean i had a few of those games that were like this is kind of educational but it's not really it's more of a learn a lesson or a learn of this that and the other thing you know and then there's like problem solving kind of games and like you know, I don't know. I still like a lot of those games, you know. I don't know. I had maybe 30 games like that. 30 games, you know, maybe. And I just, again, like, I'd loop some all the time. I had things like, um, fun Draft Square Bench Typing. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. But I never actually learned how to type from it. Well, because it was a more fun type. Because you had Because typing games were always the same. Here's a row of things to, to do. Is it really good or good, like, learning to type and boring? Right. It was here's a row of things. Type them. See how fast you can type them. You know, we'll give you a new like skill. So like, we'll, we'll do A S D F. Uh, get the G K J L G K J L F uh, H G K J L. Anyway, like so, the, like that first row, and then like, okay, now we're gonna add you a new thing. And, whatever we'll just keep adding one other thing inside until you know how to do everything you know or they were more of a game like a like a mario 
teaches typing kind of thing. Where it's like it's more of a game, but the typing learning is stupid. <laughs> it doesn't teach you anything. And then, you know, and so, um, SpongeBob SquarePants teaches so uh, SpongeBob SquarePants typing was very good at being not really like not boring and not not really good at teaching you typing but boring and not a game and sucked at teaching you typing so it was very good at that like it knew what it was doing and it had a kind of and it kind of had a story to it well it had a vague story it was like hey you want to it was like there's like a bikini bottom typing contest and you're entering it but you need to practice first because you're not the greatest i don't know it was kind of weird stuff to be honest but it's like when you they throw a story into some stupid kind of game you're like what why oh and then it has stuff like magic tool bus uh explorers into dinosaurs you know see that's another one of those not necessarily an abc one to three learning game it was more of a hey i'll teach you something about history well vaguely give you something about history of the dinosaurs and whatnot i don't know it's not great but it's not all horrible so yeah something or other you know and then you know i had all these i had lego chess that was a weird game i used to love it as a kid i used to love it as a kid it's just bizarre as all heck i got it running on my computer but it's in like a czech russian uh Turkish, I don't know, it's in some odd language. I think it's like Russian-esque, I don't know. And I was like, oh. But I mean, it's, it plays fine. I don't need it to do anything else. It's, it plays fine, but I was like, oh, I got this one. I was so happy, and then I played it, and I was like, oh. I remember why I never really, no, I remember why I loved it, but I remember why I never played it for very long. It just, I was like, what? 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 This is not good. That's the thing. It was one of those things where I wanted it for because whenever you 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 ate another piece, it would give you an animation like a like a not an animation. It would give you like a clip of the two guys and it would be like a fight of some sort. And it was kind of funny like the first time you see it for like if you're like five or something. But you know, I was like, eh, I don't really care. Sorry, let's be honest here. I don't really care. Like that that thirteenth the thirteenth time in the same game you've seen the same actual clip, you're like, okay, I'm done. Because you have eaten like the you've eaten like upon like the seventeenth time. You're like, oh my god, what stop? Stop giving me the same clip. Anyway. So I realized I played I think that's the reason I wanted to play it again. So I played it for like the clips and then I realized I'm like the only reason I want this is for the clips. Look up all the clips. You're done with the clips. You watch them once, and you're done. You're like, I don't need to play this ever again. Because they didn't have great nostalgia to me. It was kind of like, eh, eh, it's okay. So, yeah. So then I was like, yeah. So I had those games, and you know, it was like that kind of stuff. You know, I had that kind of stuff. So that was the first stuff I ever played as a kid. Like, those were the first very, very, like, first, like, those were first very early memories of video games. But that's the thing. The earliest memories of video games are playing Flash games on computers. But I don't remember if that was before or after I played PC games. Like PC CD-ROM. I'm pretty sure it was after I played PC CD-ROM. But I feel like it was the longest era of games I ever had. Because I played so many Flash games. On things like Mini Clip or Endicon Arcade. Or like those kind of random websites. They were just they were just repositories for for um PC games and they were like, uh, you know. I mean not getting don't get me wrong, they were great, but like I played some of them now, I'm like, Oh my god, I thought this was a great game as a kid. Oh boy, oh boy. Anyway. Yeah. So I played a lot of like early PC C D ROM games. I mean I'm not bad, but I don't know. I don't really care much for a lot of the games a lot of the media i watch i go or the media i consumed i was like i thought this was good there is some of the times where i'm like i thought this was bad what the heck i should have played this a long time ago anyway but like a lot of it was i thought this was good 
what the heck? I was like, what? Anyway, but like, I wasn't, like, I don't think it's awful, but a lot of it was like, like, like the TV show or the movie, I was like, what? I thought this was good. Like, one of the movies was Mousetrap, and I was like, oh, this, maybe this doesn't age well, maybe it's good for little kids, maybe it's good for like, some people, but like, ooh, not great. A lot of the TV shows I watched, I'm like, I thought this was a good TV show as a kid. Like, I watched Captain Flamingo again, and I was like, oh my, ooh, I was like, ooh. Not, did not, you know, age well. Did, maybe it's not for my age category demographic, and I was like, oh, but it's just, ooh. I love it, but I'm like, ooh. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so, I was like, most of the media I consumed as a kid, I was like, oh, Ooh, that's not good. Either it didn't age well, or it doesn't go with my demographic, my age demographic, or just, I, ugh, or it just wasn't good. It just, just wasn't good. And I'm like, how did I think this was great? I'm like, oh, anyway, you know? But I mean, a lot of the other stuff was good, though. Like, a lot of the, a lot of, like, like the books I read were either classics or they were like Calvin and Hobbes, Garfield, that kind of stuff. Which, I don't know, it's good, I guess. Or Tintin, or Asterix and Obelix. Obelisk. Lisk? Lix? Whatever. You know, it was good stuff. But I did I did, did read some real, like, stinkers. Some really bad books. Like, I read something called, or I didn't read, my mom read to me. Something called The Second Mrs. Jacondo. And... That it's basically because cause the person who was supposed to be um, Mona Lisa is called it was Mrs. Jacondo, some random. It was really a random woman, to be honest. If you look at the look at the the history of it, there was not there was no point to it. There was no like he he had no connection to the woman. It was kind of just okay. Whoopee. It was kind of just like okay, you're just a random woman. Hey, want 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 to pose for me? Sure, okay. And then she posed for him, and now he's she's the most famous woman in the world, basically. Anyway. One of the most famous paintings in the world. One of the famous paintings ever. But anyway. And this one is supposed to be like the second Mrs. Jacondo. So he's like, oh, she's going to be like the second Mrs. Jacondo. It's great. It's like, oh, it was bizarre, beyond bizarre, beyond bizarre. It was bad. It was weird. It was very bad. Very weird. I don't know if I'd like it if I read it again, but I just remember it just being you freaking strange. Very, very strange book, but, you know, very strange book. But then I remember reading things like um, um, Charlie Moan, and I remember, like, the first book was great, right? I'm loving it. And then I read the second. I think I got, like, to the third one, and I was like, this is, was, like, I was getting, like, this is dragging on forever. My brother read the whole thing, and, uh, well, not the whole thing, because there were, like, two other books that came out, like, more recently. I don't know if he ever read, but... He did, we did read, like, he, the first, there were, like, 11 or 10 of them? I just got long and, you know, that's boring after a while. But the one thing I remember about those books was on the back of one of the books, it said, the, the either the greatest or a good book to read while they're waiting for the next Harry Potter. And it's like, wow, well, you, you, uh, don't think highly of your own books. <laughs> I think it was someone, I think it was one of those things where it was like a review and somebody posted like, hey, a great book to read while they're waiting for the next Harry Potter. It's like, wow, wow. <laughs> anyway, because those books were basically ripping off of Harry Potter because what they were, well, kind of, they were like a magical thing, but they were, they were more original, but they were still BS as all BS. Anyway, they were weird. They were weird. I didn't love them, but they were, basically they were, they were, um, Oh, gosh. They were like, you had a magical power and, or ability. I don't know what they, the exact terminology for anything they used, but it was like you had an ability, like a special ability. And your special ability was different. Everyone had a different one. But, I mean, some of them were cool. Like, you could control the weather. Some could talk to animals. The main character, Charlie, could go into into pictures. I didn't really understand what use that was. But, you know, I still love his uncle. His uncle has a was the, had the most bizarre ability power thing ever. It was like because his his power was if he looked at a light source, it would blow up. 
it would just blow up. So, like, light bulb would blow up. So, he lived in, like, a candle lit, like, no, not even a candle lit. It, he just, it was a pitch black room, and he would walk in. It would almost be like, he'd walk in, you'd walk into the room, and it would be ominous, and be weird. It would just be, like, bizarre, um, bizarre feeling in the room. And, because, and I remember that, because he couldn't even go outside, because he would, like, I don't know how this works, but you'd blow that sun up. I don't know if you'd blow the sun up, but I just remember it being weird. And then he found a loophole. He was like, just don't look at the sun. You know, it was one of those stupid things that was like, that I, I remember looking at that and, just, you know, it was like, oh, okay. I was like, well, just don't look at the sun. I would look, I would think of that. I'd be like, just don't look at the sun. And he'd be like, it was, it was a lot harder than that though. Because it was like, oh, oh, okay, whatever. You know, I was very like, ugh, whatever, I don't care. I was very like, uh. So, you know, but, so he figured a loophole. He was like, well, he was like, well, you know what then? Just either wear sunglasses that were so tinted that you didn't see, like, couldn't see anything. Or so then you couldn't look at the sun and blow it up, or just like don't look at it. So I think, well, no, because if he, he no, because he was a bookkeeper, and the bookkeeper was, um, what's it called? Was uh, she met he met the bookkeeper, and the bookkeeper he liked, and so he wanted to meet her, and so he would get Charlie to walk him to the book store so he could meet her, and he had a back room. Where she kept it dark so that they could, like, I don't know, do things, talk, mingle, fun times. I don't know what they did back there, to be honest. I don't remember what they did back there, but I went back, so I was like, oh, okay. I mean, it was very weird that way. But, I mean, so he'd walk him to the, to the bookstore, so. I mean, that was one, that was, that's still to this day the most bizarre thing in a book. I'm like, why? Why is your, your, uh, your, um, power to blow, like, what, what good is, and it wasn't, that's the thing, it wasn't, like, a beneficial thing, it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a beneficial thing, it wasn't a, um, good thing, it wasn't, like, magic that could be used for good, no, it was just, you just got a random power, it was, like, a, it was, like, a lottery, you just got a random thing, I was, like, okay, oh, yeah, hey, what do I care, so that was a book I read, well, it was a fine book series, I guess, I don't know, I don't, care really um you know so so i was like eh. i i don't know i just love it as a kid i read the harry potter i didn't read all of them i got to the fifth one and i was like oh. but anyway my brother read the harry potter like 20 or 30 times something like that it was insane it was it was a lot of times anyway and then you know yeah so yeah you know I got to like, and then like, you know, I read some of the classics. I read, you know, like, um, Thomas Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn. I read some of the classics. I don't know, like Alice in Wonderland esque. I don't know if I read Alice in Wonderland, but I read things like that. You know, like Alice in Wonderland, um, Snow White, and Beauty. like it was kind of weird. No, well, not those, but like you know, those kind of books. You know, it was very like that. You know, I didn't read comics. You know, I didn't. Well, comics. I read. What do you, what do you call those? Like. Comic strips, I guess you say. I don't know. So, kind of like comic strips, you know, that kind of thing. So it's like, oh, okay. Like, oh yeah. Like I read uh, that kind of stuff. I read a, I read a lot of weird things as a kid. I didn't love reading as a kid, so I I picked up books that were like, I liked books like um, um, Wrigley's Believe It or Not, or I liked um, uh, the. Uh, this World Records, or stuff like that, I like that kind of, or bizarre books, like, or just books on, like, dinosaurs, or books on, like, medieval weapons, or books on that kind of stuff, I'm like, okay, this is cool, but, I don't know, I think, I never, I don't know, I don't know, but you should read more, just read more, it, it all was, it reminds me of a line from, uh, from, uh, Bo Burnham's, uh, Welcome to YouTube, and the line is, um, we won't, or uh, won't have a generation of kids who waste their time reading. It's YouTube. <laughs> I'm like, wow. 
wow. But I mean, think about it, right? The reason most kids had to get glasses was because they were, they stuck a book two inches, stuck a book an, half an inch from their face, and they just read all day. <laughs> that's that's like so many of my friends. The reason they have it is just because, like, the reason they have glasses is because of that. So, I mean, it's not bad, I guess. I mean, you got smarter per se. I don't know. I don't know. I like a lot of those kind of reference books too, like a bunch of like books on just random things. I'd pick, I'd pick a random thing like birds or like cars or like Legos or like uh, how this works or that works. Like the 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 DK like I don't know what are those things called reference books on like random things. That was great. I don't know. I liked it. I don't eh. that kind of stuff. That's my kind of reading. And my brother would like read full series of things and just be done in like a week. And I'd be like, "What? How did you read like all of this series in a week? What the heck?" Or whatever you did, whatever you know. It's like, oh. Because he read, like, a book a day. I was like, what? 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 Anyway. And then I read, like, stuff like Calvin and Hobbes and Garfield and Tintin and Asper and Oblix. I think my, still my favorite comic book series, strip series ever is uh, Calvin and Hobbes. Just because it's such a good book series. It's very nicely put together and it's great. So it's like, wow. Wow. That's great. I don't know. I liked Garfield. But my friend... Oh, no, because Garfield had a TV show, show called Garfield and Friends. And to me, it was very exactly, almost word for word, the TV show, uh, the the comic strip. And so I was like, oh. So to me, it was like, oh, I can just watch the comic strip and, or watch the TV show and literally get sometimes word for word the same thing. So I'd be like, okay, great. But my friend was like, I don't like this. But, but he liked reading. I did not. So he liked reading the, excuse me, the uh, comic book, and I did not. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to watch the TV show. I'm like, okay, which is great. It's like, and we both would get the exact same experience. Like, it literally, it was word for word sometimes, the exact same experience. Like, there were some specials, like the Halloween special of Garfield. It was literally exactly word, strip, panel, dot, ink, plick for, for word. The exact same, the exact same uh, thing, so. And he hated it. He was like, well, this is stupid. I guess read it. You know, I read it. It's the same thing. So, Campbell, you, you love reading or like reading this. I don't, so. That's the thing, right? They never had anything uh, um, for Calvin and Hobbes, right? I was watching a documentary about uh, finding Bill Watterson or where where's Bill Watterson, something like that. And it was like, oh, okay. It was, it was okay, right? But I watched it, and one of the things in it was... Was... People were like... They got to a part where they were like... Talking about how Bill Watterson didn't want any kind of... Um, merchandise, because he he compared it to... Um, to the Peanuts, and how... Like, the... Cow, uh, the the uh, Charlie Brown and the Peanuts, and how... The peanuts had too much, like, okay, when your product is on car insurance, you've gone way too far. Like, just stop. And he compared it to Garfield. And the guy in the documentary compared it to Garfield. So I was like, oh my gosh, really? Like, wow. Anyway, so he's talking about that, and he goes, like, there's nothing made for it. So then they, they pan off to, like, everything that people have made for it, for, for Calvin and Hobbes, and just go, there were... People got tattoos. People got those stickers for their cars, which um, um, cop and peeing on whatever you want to hate. Um, there were there were video games made about him. There were TV shows, well, cartoony esque things, animation things made about him. There were, you know, shirts, hats, you know, all those things were there. Were Cal Hobbs was made stuff. There was like there was everything. Just goes like, ugh. I mean, yeah. So. I mean, he, he, I mean, he didn't want anything, so I guess, I mean, I don't care, you know, whatever, I mean. So, uh, I think that's about it, guys, so, that was episode four of Taco Imposters. Adios, muchachos.